She's also brought up the idea of introducing entrance gates. Did not know that Trump had infiltrated An Amsterdam. Hey, oh, I'm toasted. The ideas. And today I wanted to react to another video, but this video is going over a thing in the in Amsterdam with a new red light district being built. Back in 2009, a labor politician waited. The city was voting on a plan he had spearheaded, a plan called Project 1012. Named after the zip code of the city's most notorious red light district, it was designed to clean it up. Low quality buildings, such as window brothels and coffee shops had to go. But instead of making new regulations, the lawmaker was praised for a unique approach. However, when attempts were made to measure the impact of Project 1012, not much could be found. But if there's one thing his plan did do, was that it created a rift among hundreds of sex workers in the city government of Amsterdam. Kind of interesting to learn that this was happening. So they were trying to essentially get rid of the red light district by moving in just regular stores that aren't a part of the red light district, trying to move them out via doing that. So what I'm getting is now their plan is to build a building to put the red light district, two buildings to put the red light district into. My first question is, is that, are those buildings gonna be big enough for that? That like, cause the red light district, uh, from what I can assume on that map, it, it doesn't look small. So I'm questioning if it's even gonna be big enough to be able to house all of that. And at that same rate, how is that going to work for uh, customers? She's also brought up the idea of introducing entrance gates. Did not know that Trump had infiltrated in Amsterdam. This is news to me, but I mean, hey, if he's able to build a wall in a different country, then I mean, by all means, I guess. I think the, I think the interesting thing is how they're trying to get rid of the red light district. I, I wouldn't. I, once again, I don't know why Amsterdam, I don't know why they would be getting rid of that. Is the red light district not like a, a good chunk of change for Amsterdam? Is that why? Like they don't, they don't get profit from the red light district, which I, I, I would doubt, but why are they trying to get rid of it so much? Is it because it's like a stain on their name or something like that? According to the city government, the building will likely be a safer option than the status quo. Instead of sparse, separated buildings in an overcrowded neighborhood, a single building would have a centralized security system with a clear oversight over who- Oh, so the red light district is like sparse. It's not, it's not just one like strip of line, lines of buildings. It's, it's sparse, whereas in the building, it's all gonna be collective. Okay, okay, so now, okay, now it's, Okay, it's making a lot more sense now. Who enters and who leaves. The erotic center does what Project 1012 couldn't. It gets rid of rooms in the center, but without pushing sex workers into an unregulated underground. Also, unlike the Vala, which mixes tourists with potential clients, the new building is meant to attract primarily the clients. Some sex workers have complained that over-tourism has reduced their incomes because large crowds make actual potential clients too self-conscious to consume. According to the city government, a well-connected but more isolated building would reduce the attraction of the red light district for tourists, attract more clients than in the center, increasing sex workers' incomes, but it would also be quieter. Tourists are loud, but clients are the type of people who want to be private and have as little- Oh, okay, so I was dumb. I was dumb, okay. So as I stated, uh, as I stated, I didn't realize that the buildings were sparse out. But yeah, the, the tourist impact of the red light district would most definitely uh, lower the profit of being an SW in the red light district. So, ah, man, the more the video goes on, the more I'm actually like, this is actually a very smart idea. Uh, like, no, that, that I, I mean that genuinely, like it is a very smart idea because it brings in the clients that it brings in. Whereas it doesn't turn away the clients who would be, but it aren't due to public uh, discourse. So, 
The way I'm looking at it now is this is a very smart idea. However, this is also where some more difficult problems emerge. The Vola, with all of its issues, still has a unique advantage. It has a lot of eyes on the street. In the same way that it may make some clients too self-conscious to consume, it may do the same for more serious criminals. And this is where you get the NIMBYs. Homeowners would like a building that's as invisible as possible. This is why the mayor has also promised a closed, isolated building that brings very little attention. However, the more isolated and quiet the area, the more concerns about sex worker safety. Also, the city already has problems with the number of police and security. Since the Vala isn't entirely removed, by building an erotic center, you end up producing a fourth red light district, which potentially spreads an already thin police force even thinner. So the mayor has had problems. She's faced considerable backlash at town halls, and she's had to postpone making decisions on the erotic center. I mean, it, 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 gets, a lot, it gets rid of a lot of that public view thing so or so outsider view outsider tourist view people who aren't looking to purchase sw so i think it's nothing but benefit because it, it drives up profit supposedly and it also just gets rid of the negative in those big districts which i think is an overall benefit but once again, I don't live there, so I don't know what their concerns are. I know what my concerns are, which may not align with theirs. So I could be completely talking out of my booty hole here. Anywho, tell me what your thoughts are down in the comments. What, what do you think about the uh, building? What do you think about them building a building for this whole entire thing? And while you're down there, hit the that subscribe button become a fellow bread bag and also hit that like button so that people who may not have seen this video can see this video and so that they might join the bread box because once again we need more bread got it good but anywho i hope to see you in the next video and until then have a good one